it's Courtney here and today we are talking Instagram. So you guys have been commenting on my pictures like how did you edit this, this is so cool, how did you make the colors all different. So I wanted to put together a video where I show you guys some of the best apps that I've been using lately and just some tips for making your Instagram better in general. Make sure to give the video a big thumbs up if you like it and leave a comment below with your Instagram username because I'm gonna stalk you guys. And since we're already talking all about Instagram, you might as well go ahead and follow me at Courtney Michelle. Also, of course, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and let's get into it. Hope you guys like it. Alright, so first things first, I'm just going to go over a few tips for how to take your picture in the first place before we even get to editing. Tip number one when you're taking pictures on your phone is to use flash. This of course helps to brighten a darker image, but it also just improves the saturation and makes the colors appear so much more vibrant. Next tip is to use the rule of thirds. So this is a little tip for photography experts. So if you were to divide your photo into thirds, you want to place the subject or the main thing that you're taking a picture of into one of those thirds. I'll show a couple examples so you can kind of see this in action. Tip number three is to use the grid to help place the main subject that you're photographing into the frame. So if you're having trouble with the rule of thirds, you can just turn the grid function on on your camera and this will kind of create those lines so that you can easily place or center the subject of your photo. Tip number four is always, always focus. Sometimes you're so excited to take the picture, you just take it, but you need to tap the screen so that your subject is in focus. This just totally improves the clarity and the sharpness and will make your photo look so much more professional. And tip number five is to have fun and play with the angles that you're taking your photo from. So instead of taking all of your pictures straight on, like this, Maybe you switch it up and you go down next time or you go directly straight down and take a picture of your coffee or your magazine or maybe you get really crouched down low to the ground and look like a weirdo in public and take a picture going up at like the sky or something. Just play around with the angles, be creative and have fun. Do it for the gram. Okay, now we're ready to move on to apps. So I'm going to show you guys my process recently for editing all of my Instagram pictures. So the first thing I do after taking my picture with those tips I just gave you guys is to throw it into this app called Moldiv. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's what it looks like. So I just open up the app and then I upload the photo. And as you can see, there's all of these different effects that you can add on the bottom. So I'm just going to scroll through and usually the first thing I like to do is color. And this is the coolest thing ever. So at the bottom left, I like to move that around and you can see it's totally changing the colors, which is so fun. So I like to do it really far towards the end. I think it just gives it more of a pink vibe, which obviously is my theme because I like pink and unicorns and glitter. And then I go to the right side, which is saturation. So I just like to turn that up a lot. <laughs> And once I'm done with that, I like to go into Vibrance and just turn that up a little bit to make it a little more dramatic because I find that just making the colors different just really brightens my feed. So then I just save it to my album and you can see the totally dramatic changes we made. Then I like to take it into VSCO or Visco Cam, whatever that's called. And this is where I like to make it look a little more vintage -y. I usually first start with sharpness and increase sharpness just so it looks like I took it on an even better camera. And then the best part of all is fade. So I'm going to turn up the fade a lot because I just think that makes it look so much cooler. And then we are done. We can save it and post to Instagram. One of the photos that I posted on my Instagram, a lot of you guys were asking like, how did you do this? And it's my Snapchat picture. I changed it to pink, so I will show you guys really quickly how I did that. Basically, I first went into Snapchat, took a screenshot of my picture, and then I took it into Moldiv and used that little trick with the color. And you can change it to any color you want, which is super cool. So I changed it to this like really hot pink magenta color and then turn saturation down till it was like a nice pastel pink. And that's how I did it. So now you guys know how I usually edit my photos, but I wanted to show you a few more cool apps that I use now and then. 
first is called over and I've showed you guys this in another video of mine basically in over you can add any text or even the best part is emojis to your photos you can add like a little unicorn or an ice cream emoji or a face I think it's so fun and a fun fact is over is actually how I add the text to the thumbnails for my covers so it's a pretty handy app to have another app I think is really cool is called line camera I take the photo in Whoa. Uh, hit design and then my favorite thing to do is just add the first filter that you see right here which is called fairy tale and I just think it makes everything look so much more dreamy and princessy and one more app I want to share with you guys is called afterlight something really cool you can do is take your photo into afterlight add the Polaroid frame then take it into visco cam and increase fade all the way and at that point you will have a really vintagey looking Polaroid picture that you could just pretend is real. Okay, so that is all my current advice on editing photos. And lastly, I'm just gonna share with you guys some tips for keeping a theme on your Instagram feed. Tip number one is to edit your photos with the same filters, or at least the same few filters, so you don't have too much contrast between like one photo being super sharp and bright and then another being really faded and vintage looking. This will just help your overall consistency and make your feed look pleasing to the eye. Tip number two, I like to switch off photos between something more complex and busy with the sky and buildings and trees and just a lot of stuff going on and then something really simple like a wall or a picture of a coffee cup and I think that this just makes your feed look cleaner and not so busy and like there's too much going on tip number three is to just find what you like in terms of an Instagram theme and just stick with it if you like black and white photos make your feed all black and white photos if you like everything being super high fade and really vintagey and muted colors then go with that on the other hand if you want it to be super neon and bright and happy and colorful rainbow then go for it girl you do you my theme right now is all pink sometimes I add some blue some white and sugar you guys know me pretty well and I post a lot of pictures of donuts and if you don't want to stick to a theme and you just want your page to be a feed of things that inspire you that don't necessarily go together with the same look then go for it there really are no rules this is all about your creativity and expressing yourself in however way that you want to so that's it for today's video I hope you guys loved it don't forget to leave your Instagram username below in the comments because I just want to get to know you guys better you guys all make me so happy and I just want to learn more about you by stalking your Instagram go ahead and hit subscribe if you haven't already to join the cutie fam I love you babe from the bottom of my heart and I will see you in my next video.